Hey, it's Mama Bear with Plates House of Fitness and Nutrition. Um, today I want to talk about road food. Uh, I've done a segment on this a couple of times, so but it's always new information, it's good information, so here we go. Um, currently I'm in Pittsfield, uh, Pittsfield, Maine, and it's a really small town, but they do have a grocery store, so it's important to me to buy fresh food and clean food, so I typically don't eat out. Um, I can't usually because there's so many different ingredients that I don't have control over. Uh, even if I go to a healthier restaurant, a lot of times they uh, will still add things like soy oil or cooking canola oil, which are things that I choose not to eat. And they're not also going to be choosing necessarily GMO-free foods, um, nor are they going to be getting natural meats potentially or organic grass-fed beefs and things like that. So. Um, my solution is I try and find a grocery store. So I'm at the Hannaford here in Pittsfield. Um, and the, the the natural food section in Hannaford is really, really small. So it's hard to find uh, enough to make a full balanced meal. Um, so I started out in the, uh, in the vegetable department and I got myself a small thing of the organic uh, baby spinach and spring mix. spring mix. So the baby spinach is important because it's a heartier green. It has more um, vitamins than just the regular spring mix. So I got this one. Um, and then I got myself um, a can of the Bumblebee brand uh, solid white albacore tuna. This is the only brand that we've found uh, besides the more organic ones and things like that um, just that, uh, that doesn't contain soy. So this is one of the ones that is fine to eat. So it's not Bumblebee tuna, it's Bumblebee brand tuna. So look at the logo, it's important, it's different. Um, so that has 16 grams of protein just in there. So that's a great dose of protein for me. Um, then I also bought myself over in the natural section. Uh, I looked through what they had for different um, easy, accessible, nutritional type options. And I looked at the soups. Um, I don't have a can opener because I'm in the car. So I was limited to the ones that have the easy open top. Um, so I looked through the ingredients and um, I picked the Annie's lentil. Uh, what I really liked about this actually when I was reading the label is it's all really good food It's all really good ingredients. So if you want to compare this to one of the other like progresso soups um, Read the progresso soup label and then um, listen to this video uh, Here's what's in the Annie's lentil filtered water organic lentils organic celery organic carrots organic onions organic potatoes organic extra virgin olive oil sea salt spices now usually I look at thing a thing like where it says just spices and I'm like oh, that might be something that's like MSG or whatever but on this label I noticed next to spices it had a little asterisk so I'm like hmm what does that mean so I look down and underneath that where the asterisk is um, indicating it says a hundred percent pure herbs and spices no hidden ingredients that means to me no MSG so hooray I was like yay um, so there's two servings in this and uh, each serving has 25 grams of carbohydrates which uh, I'll get 20 I'll get six grams of fiber um, and there's also eight grams of protein in this so this is gonna amp up my my tuna um, which had eight grams 16 so and I'm gonna get another eight so I'm literally gonna get a almost like a four ounce breast of chicken just through this little can of tuna in this um, and a half a serving in the soup uh, I honestly could even break this down into two, uh, two servings total and make two salads out of this entire meal with what I bought today. Um, the other thing I grabbed, because I'm just a cheese person and I really liked it, I really like cheese. Uh, it does add more protein to the, the salad also. Um, I bought the provolone cheese. This has five grams of protein in a slice. So literally with all the protein that I bought, I could make a big salad out of this and I'm going to eat two times for, for what I bought today. Uh, the other thing I actually also bought because I wanted to be able to make a shake for myself maybe, um, I bought myself a thing of almond milk. Um, I just got the vanilla unsweetened because I had powder in the car. Then when I got into the car, I realized that I didn't even need it because I had brought with me organic coffee from Ben. So I had organic coffee, ice, iced coffee anyway. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to skip opening the almond milk. I'm going to save that for putting it in the cupboard so I can use it later. And I'm going to add my protein powder right to my coffee and make myself a mocha. So the protein powder that I have is Sun Warrior. We love this stuff. It's so delicious and it's so good for you and really, really clean. Has a complete amino acid profile, even though it's from veg uh, vegetable based um, 
based uh, proteins, you get 17 grams of protein just in this one thing. So this will be a great thing for me to get later when um, I'm just want to put something in my stomach before I go into my workout tonight at five. So I've, and um, the other thing that I'll also do and included with uh, that protein powder um, meal, because you don't want to eat a one macronutrient meal. I don't want to just put in protein. I need to put something with that. So I actually also have um, with me today, my little bit, bit of mixes. I carry trail mix all the time. Um, it's such a good, uh, it's such a good whole food to just throw in there in case I'm, you know, late or, you know, really need something quick. Um, nuts and seeds and all that stuff uh, really have a good balance of healthy fats, good carbohydrates, and protein all in contained in one food. So it's a good type of a superfood as far as I'm concerned. And my little bit of mix is awesome because it has a little bit of everything. So in here you're getting mostly all organic uh, ingredients. We don't buy organic cashews because they're extremely expensive. But regardless, there's sunflower seeds, cashews, uh, uh, banana chips, pumpkin seeds, coconut flakes, uh, cranberries, cacao nibs, chocolate chips, and flame raisins. They're like big, plump, juicy uh, raisins. are delicious. So that will be my afternoon on the road snack. So I've got a protein shake for later, and I have enough salad fixins from what I bought. And the soup is actually going to be my dressing. I'm actually going to open this up and dump it right on the lettuce um, on top of my cheese and my albacore tuna um, and I'll get two meals out of that which is super fantastic so my total bill at the grocery store because I didn't have to buy the trail mix or the protein powder was literally fourteen dollars and seventy five cents and I'm getting two meals so if you wanted and and I'll actually additionally have um, more cheese to use for later and I did get the thing of almond milk which I'm not even gonna eat right now so maybe with what even I bought was closer to $12, $12. so I invested six dollars a meal and I got two really clean choices and I ran in the grocery store and I ran out and the entire time with the grocery store shop inclusive of this video like shooting this video it took me 30 minutes to get my entire meal collected and make this video for you telling you all about it so I don't know how long it takes you to go around through the drive-thru at um, the, any of those chain restaurants or how long it takes you to walk into uh, a, another type of a restaurant like Subway or something like that and actually wait for something at a busy time of day but the grocery store I was in and out in 15 minutes um, because I had a plan I went and did it now you guys can use this video and make it your plan all right peace love and hair grease here's to fitness love you guys